And back in the studio, Lisa Waters Lane, coming back with just inspiration. What are some things we can plant now that will beautify our gardens? She comes each week uh, that uh, just to share inspiration. So welcome to the studio, Lisa. Thank you. So what inspiring things do you have for us today? <laughs> well, I'll show the pretty stuff first because it's already up and blooming and pretty. And the answer is yes, you can put these things in your yard now. Oh, yeah. And they will be fine. Yeah. They like yeah. the cooler weather. So these are our mammoth pansies. So mammoth have those big blossoms with the little monkey faces in them. It's kind of very much your traditional pansy. Does very, very well here. Um just a super little plant for the cool weather when you need a little bit of brightness on your drab days. Pansies definitely do it. So what's the difference between pansies, viola, Johnny Jump Ups, <laughs> all the different, they come up by a lot of different names. Right. What's the difference well, between pansies all Pansies are usually bigger, have a bigger blossom okay, to them, like bigger, that. kind of a bigger plant usually. Bigger leaves, plant itself is going to get bigger. Your violas, which Johnny Jump Hopes are part of that viola. So violas reseed easier, um, smaller bloom, smaller leaves, smaller plant. But more blossoms. More blossoms. They still love the cool weather. It's great to mix into your pots. You can put pansies and violas together. Of course you can. Um, but yeah, both like the cool temperatures. We'll be happy till we start getting really hot. Like you know, I tell folks, I'm telling clients, or I'm teaching garden classes right now. Mm -hmm. um, because of the extremes of the mountains, mm -hmm. uh, these will these will love growing. Right. Um, I would say don't start out early spring or late winter, whatever this is. Don't start out now with tiny six packs. Right. The the bigger the roots, mm -hmm. the more success you're going to have. Right. Uh, so so this is a gallon size. It's mm -hmm. uh, twelve ninety nine. So it's very it's big. It's probably at least a foot fourteen inches across. It's got a dozen blooms on it already. You'd be better off planting this in the yard because the roots are established enough right. where it will actually fill in faster mm -hmm. and it'll take the extremes right. better. Whereas a six pack, it'll just sit there and it won't really grow very much until like May. Right. So you're better off early. And then once you get into the actual like uh, May, June, July, summer the, the, out of frost, then you can go to the six pack, you know, mm -hmm. marigold, six pack, petunia, six pack, right. six packs, that, that six cells in a pack. But early on, four inch gallons, are, you're going to have far more success by doing that right. uh, than going with smaller. I would say the same thing throughout the season. So mm -hmm. tomatoes or if you're planting peppers, it's better to go with a four inch. The bigger the root, mm -hmm. trees, the bigger the root, the more success. So we look at that with our returns, fruit trees. The five gallons come back more often. Than a 15 gallon, just because the root mass is so much larger. Got a little more forgiveness. Very much in. so. So anyway, I didn't mean to go there, but this is a nice yeah, big you, full plant. You, it's glorious. <laughs> yes. So here's another really beautiful big one. So this is Snapdragon. So this one is Snaptastic, Snaptastic Orange flame That's and it is beautiful. <laughs> so it's kind of a pinky orange yellow. It's Really, really pretty. One of the prettier ones. It's pink with a orange center. Very yeah. unusual. Mm -hmm. It's a new color. Right. It is a new color. But Snapdragon is another cool season plant. Very happy in these cooler temperatures. Also very animal resistant. Oh, yeah. So if you've got the deer, the javelina, the bunnies, this is the kind of color you want to go with. Not the pansy so much. Um, but Snapdragons are amazing. They'll frequently reseed themselves and you'll have them coming up in the yard what are you looking at a little white thing it's showing up oh. on camera I just, wonder, <laughs> just a little piece of paper is all it is oh. so my bad <laughs> thought it was a bug for you folks watching the vlog the video <laughs> piece of this now it's better <laughs> yeah. so we have our cool season set we got pansies viola snapdragons dusty miller yeah uh poppies we got some columbine in yeah. uh we got some rainbow ascot euphorbia so some of those early season things they're really starting to show up now and it's a good time to be hunting them down and but it's going to snow them. this week or it snowed i had three inches mm -hmm. that's okay these guys okay. like that they they'll, like they'll they prefer be that okay with it yeah i have a day or two of they're like oh but they pop right out yeah of it. yeah a little bit of sun they're off and going yeah Definitely. So I just wanted to bring those in for pretty color. But some of the other stuff that we've gotten in for spring blooming, which is still, are you going to stick that thing? No, I was going to try, but 
<laughs> Black people that are face. watching the videos are not going to like it. We'll get it off the camera. So there we go. Uh, so the things that are spring bloomers, um, many of which are dormant right now, but you get them in your yard, you get them planted, and they're going to wake up in your yard. They're going to be beautiful, and you're going to get to enjoy the spring blossoms. Yeah. So definitely we got to start with forsythia. Oh, yeah. Because that's kind of the first thing to bloom in the in the spring yard. So forsythia is that shrub that has the blossoms on it first. It's bright yellow. So it really just shows up out there in the yard. Bright yellow. Puts its green leaves on later. But it's a terrific plant for here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also very animal resistant. Yeah. So we don't need to worry about deer and those kinds of things. Avelina, pack rats. Right. None, mm -hmm. none of them eat them. Porcupines, they don't eat forsythia. Yes. That's yeah. true. So we've got four different ones and they kind of go have four different heights. Four different so, forsythias? We do. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. So we have springtime forsythia, which is the smallest one. So it gets about two by three, somewhere in there. So more of a dwarf. Uh, great. If you got a little, you want to put it in front of some other shrubs. If you're just yeah. throwing some color out into your perennial bed, just a good one to put in there. Magical gold, which gets about four by four. Then we have show off, which gets about five by five. Okay. <laughs> and then the last one is the northern gold, which gets about boy. eight by five. Yeah. So we got one for every size that you could possibly want. Why commit to pruning <laughs> when you can just plant the right size and right. never do anything? Yeah. And they're all equally as hardy. You, you oh, know, yeah. Just kind of just... put them in the right place and you're good. So <laughs> they're wonderful out in the yard. People should put them in. They're they're pretty foolproof. There's really not a lot that goes wrong with them. Yeah. Um, lilacs, another one that's dormant right now, but is going to be blooming here pretty soon. And that's another one we have different sizes of. So we have Little Darling, which gets about four by four. It just sounds cute. It does sound cute. It's kind of a lavender bloom to it. Uh, we have Scent and Scentability, which is a pink lilac, but the fragrance on it is amazing. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful one. And then we have the Deep Purple Bloomerang. So bloomering is one that blooms usually at least twice a year, sometimes three conditions are right. Still has a really nice lilac smell to it, even though it's a smaller shrub. Um, and But the blooms are just really beautiful. It's kind of hip high by hip wide. Mm -hmm. hip Repeat wide. blooming. <laughs> well, maybe hips. Who's hips? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go three by three are by three by three. Are you talking about my hips? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I would never. I know better. What so, did I just walk into? There you go. Then, of course, we have the big ones. We've got Lavender Lady, Sensation, Pocahontas, Blue Skies. Uh, we're going to have the traditional old-fashioned grandma's purple, the yeah. common purple. Um, and, and there again, lilacs do really well here. Every yard should have at least three. I mean, it's just they have so many colors, so many sizes. Mm -hmm. They do so, they're drought hardy. Right. Animals don't eat them. They're great. And both of those, for Cynthia and Lilac, love the full sun. Oh, yeah. So no problem putting them out in the full sun. Uh, I think we have time. We'll sneak yeah. in. We also got in. So these guys like shade. So if you have a shady part in your yard or uh, under a tree where it's getting more shade. So your rhododendrons. Perfect. And yeah. your azaleas. Those have huge buds right now on them. I was yeah. looking at them. They're, they're magnificent. <laughs> so some of the big roadies are like the Tribly and the... Um, Jean Marie, they're kind of a red blossom to them, and they're going to get what do you say the average? Really I've gets seen here? them out in Hazy, some of the old established ones, above head height. Yeah, easily. They will get big. I mean, yeah. if you just let them go, they'll go easily up mm -hmm. seven, seven, six, seven feet. Right, right. So we got some red ones. We've got some that are more purple, like the Florence Park is more purple, um, and then we have some that are a little bit smaller. So if you don't have a great big space, but you still run a, a pretty roadie out there, and um, the PJM is one that's kind of a purpley lavender one. That's a pretty one. Uh, we got the, I always say this wrong, Rap, Rapapo? Rap, Rapaho? Rapaho? Rapaho. <laughs> I always say it wrong. If you just say it with confidence, no one's going to verify. I mean, they're <laughs> jumping on the website to go look to see how you pronounce uh, it. You might be surprised. <laughs> Um, so those are definitely smaller. So they're about a three by three at maturity. And the leaf is smaller on them. Beautiful bloom still. We are out of time, Lisa. Okay. Your list goes on and on. So Ken Elisa Lane, <laughs> the Mountain Gardeners, thank you for inspiring us. Okay. Get those things in the ground now. Be right back after this.